Okay, so um, okay, so we're going to install Open Projects on uh, Fedora twenty. So the first step, obviously, is to add the RPM repository, the UM repository, to your lists on your machine. So we're starting with the blank Fedora twenty with nothing installed outside of the standard image. Okay, and so now we install the open project package. And that's it. Okay, and now we can uh, call the new action on the command line tool, which is configure. And this will launch a wizard, which is very similar to the older one. Um, but the difference is that it can now um, fetch additional dependencies depending on the choices the user makes. So for, for instance, here I want to install and configure MySQL server locally. Install an Apache 2 server as well. And I'll put the correct domain name here. I don't want SSL for now. This repository is fine. I'll put some SMTP settings. the admin email and I also want to install a memcached server okay so now that the installer has gathered all the information it needed it will automatically and non-interactively fetch all the required dependencies and configure what needs to be configured and start demands and in a few seconds it will have done everything okay now we get to the point where open projects can migrate the database and do a few things and then we'll be done okay so if we check the status of open projects, we see that all the processes are running, which is good. So now we can try to access our installation. Okay, we can sign in. And try to create a new project. So we load the default config first and then add a new project uh, which is uh, hello. Okay, so we have to wait for the cron to, to create the repository. So for the purpose of this demo, I reduced the interval to so that the cron can be can be launched every minute. So actually it should have been created right now let's see yeah here it is okay so if we try to now check out this repository um let's read check out with the admin username and hello okay it appears to work so we go inside It and it worked as well. So the only thing is there is a small warning here because um, when the SVN repository is created, it um, it would need an additional option so that it is compatible with an older version of SVN. So we can see that a bit later. Um, but as it is, uh, it still worked fine. It's only a, a post commit script which had some issue. 
and if we refresh the page, uh, we can go to the repository. So I don't know why, but the first time it takes a lot of time. So yeah, if we click again, it's fine, and we can we can yeah we can view the file and anything. Okay. Oh, and maybe uh, what I could show is how we can um, reconfigure. So just to to see open project config shows all the um, the, the configuration options. And um, so when you will install a new version of that package, uh, you will have to run configure to make sure to run configure again afterwards. And it will, uh, if there are already, um, if you already answered the questions, it will not ask again. So you can see the installer just goes through all the steps and doesn't ask. Uh, yeah your choices again. So this would be what happens when you update the open project package and if you wanted to really reconfigure, so there is another option for this, open project reconfigure, and this will force the wizards to come up again and you can change uh, what you chose earlier. So um, you can change the domain name, choose you know, to enable, etc. So and it will obviously pick up the old values that you have set and propose them and you can either choose to to keep them or change them. Okay, so I'll go and then that's it. Okay, so I guess that's all for this demo and I will see you on uh, Monday. Bye.